this reaction will produce fumes. So, so to us, they nearby the reaction. Uh, advice to stay back, just like the way I did. <laughs> This demonstration is not only a chemical reaction, but also a marvelous transformation of matter which teaches us about the principle of dehydration and conduction. You must be wondering how this reaction occurred, right? This reaction occurred because of sulfuric acid which acts as dehydrating agent inside the container, removing the water from the sugar molecule. Once the water is removed from the sugar molecules, it provides three products which is carbon dioxide, water vapor, and sulfur dioxide. The water vapor and carbon dioxide in the molecule are responsible for the expansion of the sugar inside the container. You must be wondering where the white sugar went, right? The white sugar, once after putting the pork sulfuric acid, it turned into a black carbonized sugar, which expanded itself outside the container. As you can see, the black carbonized sugar. Thank you. That was our first demonstration. Now going on to the second demonstration. Now we would like to invite you on this fascinating chemical reaction that will light up your curiosity quite literally. In this reaction, huh? first of all, have you ever wondered a scenario where we'll be stuck in the world with no matches or lighter? And what if I could tell you that you could start a fire with no matches or lighter? This is one of the simple reactions where we could start a fire with a, with a common antiseptic and a glycerin, and a common sugar. She's using 15 scoops of potassium permanganate and she will use 15 mils of glycerin. You know, the most fascinating about this reaction is that it does, new, does not use any external ignition like matches or lighter. It is only a, a reaction that occurs. And as you can see, we are using a motor which is inside covered with the with a foil. This foil is used because the motor cannot resist the heat. But slowly as she combined the reaction. Introduce you to our star ingredients, which is potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate. This is a very powerful oxidizing agent. What glycerin, on the other hand, is the thick, sweet substance which is mostly found in lotions and soaps. At first, you will see that the reaction is silent and not doing anything. But be patient. Chemistry is better. You give it a moment. As you can see, smoke is emerging from the reaction.
Mudi. Mudi. This is 100 ml of potassium iodide. This reaction is sometimes called the iodide clock reaction. And there it goes. This reaction shows the dynamics of chemical kinetics where the 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 forms that you see, these represent the removal or the release of gases. And the color change that you witness is the formation of iodine molecules in the reaction. This reaction tells us that chemistry is not about, only about numbers and reactions, but it is also about change, just as we have changed through other academic journey. As you have seen from the first reaction, as sugar and